We name polynomials based on two characteristics. The first is our highest degree term in the polynomial. The second is the number of terms present. Okay, so ordering based on highest degree term. If we only have a constant term, for example, six, six is considered a polynomial. It's called a constant polynomial. If we have the first degree as our highest degree, such as 3x or x plus 9. These are called linear polynomials. Then we can look at a second degree, which is called a quadratic. For example, x squared plus 3x minus 15 is a quadratic polynomial. A cubic has the highest power of 3, x cubed minus, let's do one fifth x. A quartic and a quintic. We don't often hear those names, and some texts will use them, some won't. Sometimes the quartic is just called a fourth degree polynomial. Sometimes the quintic is just a fifth degree polynomial. But they will be x to the fourth plus x squared plus six, or x to the fifth plus x to the fourth minus x. What matters in all of these is the highest degree. So here is an implied zero degree. We have a first degree, second degree, third degree, fourth degree, fifth degree. After the fifth degree, we don't have any more special names. So for a seventh degree, we would simply call it a seventh degree polynomial. Eighth would be an eighth degree polynomial, and so on and so forth. So a 22nd degree would just be a 22nd degree polynomial. Now we also name polynomials depending on how many terms are present. If we have only one term present, for example, 6, or x squared, or even x to the 14th, all three of these are examples of a monomial. And think about it, we see the prefix mon, mono a lot. It stands for one. A binomial, so notice we have the prefix bi, means that we have two terms in our polynomial. So x squared minus 12 would be a quadratic binomial. Trinomial, you could probably guess, has three terms. So we could have x cubed minus x plus 22 as a cubic trinomial. Or we could just have x cubed, which would be a cubic, or Yes, a cubic monomial. And then if we have four more terms, we just call it a poly polynomial. So we could have x cubed minus 6x squared plus 1 half x minus 19, in which case this would be a cubic polynomial. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here. The next video will cover like terms and specifically how to add polynomials. If you're ready, go on to the next video. If not, review this video before going on.